Good morning. It's the Russian here for you with the bootcamp session. So join me today, full 60 minutes of the workout. We're gonna, of course, start with stretching and foam rolling today because I am super sore after doing all these crazy workouts that we have done in the past few days. You guys seen you guys join us. So let's roll. So I hope you guys have some foam rollers at home. If you don't, you better get some because they are very, very important in the process of warm-ups and recovery. So I'm gonna start on my single leg, literally foam rolling on that short foam roller. This one is great. It's great for traveling because it can fit in your bag. So we have the long ones, we have the short ones, we have the spiky ones. And if you would ask me which one would be the best for you, well, it depends if you're starting. If you're starting, you can have a very soft one, not really hard one, and then slowly, progressively work your way up to a different one, right? So I'm doing one leg at a time, but if you want to be a long foam roller, you can do both legs at the same time. So we're gonna start with foam rolling, just getting the blood flow, and you will realize when you do this on a single leg, you will realize how each leg is sore in a different way. That's another advantage of doing like this short, small, roll, small rollers, because normally if you have both legs, you're not gonna feel the same way. Well, you feel a little bit, but not as much as you would do a short foam roller. So really, you realize this, is it the right one or the left side more sore? So today I'm using no spiky ones, just regular flat one. I I actually graduated from the flat one to the spiky one, but I still get the bruises, but it's getting better. So I wonder if you got the spiky one. The spiky one is crazy. So welcome to the training. What you need today is obviously the foam roller and the stretch shop for warm up, but for the workout, you can have a kettlebell, you can have dumbbells, but it would be nice if you would guys have a pair of dumbbells and a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can do some jumping checks. I'm gonna show you ways that you can pump that heart rate and go all out. But we're gonna mix some jump roping in between. Oh, this feels good. Let's get those calves going. And of course, we're gonna hit the inner thighs. So who is foam rolling with me? Who is foam rolling with me? I put both of my legs just like this to put that pressure. Cause single leg, sometimes you don't feel it. See, I'm off the ground to do that. And I'm gonna switch the leg. I'm working my way up. Oh yes, this feels tight. We did some hiking as well in a Red Rock Canyon in Nevada, so I still feel, even though it was short one, a different terrain, right? Different ways, and you're gonna feel it immediately. So I wanna know how you guys doing, and really, as far as the fitness goes, what is the biggest struggle for you? So write it down. If you're not training and you want to connect with the coach so I can give you some tips and advice because we've been doing this for many, many years, over 20 years, we've been studying and working with people so we can give you some gold advice. So you don't need to search and look at in the internet and look at the YouTube and trying to find and put it, the puzzles together. We put the puzzles together over the course of many years and the whole picture came out through the studies, case studies, and working with people. So we can help you out and give you some advice because it seems like it's an ongoing struggle for many people the workouts, the nutrition, staying motivated, staying challenged. 
And don't forget guys, today is Friday. Today we're going to be doing the Russian and the Freak show, episode number four. Don't miss out because we're going to be talking about challenges. So don't miss out today how to stay challenged, how your family should stay challenged and what we're doing for the challenges. 2.15 Pacific, 2.15 p.m. Pacific. I am doing this purposely because inner ties are forgotten. Many times people don't stretch them and we have to stretch them, guys, we have to. So quickly stretch straps. If you don't have the stretch strap, maybe you have a monster bed and you can warm yourself up with the monster bed the same way. Or maybe something at home, a rope, something that you can just put it together quickly and get that stretch going. Toes down. You don't want to have toes up here because you will not stretch. You want the toes down and then you're going to feel it running through the back, the posterior side of your leg. It feels awesome. I'm gonna hold it for a second. The goal always is to have 90 degree angle. If you go all the way up here, you're super flexible. Good for you. Keep on going. Good. We're gonna hit that glute stretch. So I'm bringing the leg in and releasing it. Bringing that leg in, hitting all the glute right here. Out. Flatten that part, hip should be flat facing. The ceiling down and up. Oh yeah, out there. Feel it, feel that stretch. And now we're gonna switch across. Let's do this. Oh, just felt the click. Did you hear the click? As your spine clicks. Yes. Now you can also do this without anything. Look, knee is bent, you can do the same thing. Just bringing that leg across. Now we're gonna hit that quad stretch. All oh, these quads. These quads have been permanently tight and sore for the past few weeks now. And it feels so good. I have to tell you this, this stretch strap is amazing. Because a lot of people cannot do that. They can't, they can't grab that leg. But this actually helps you with the mobility here. Because by pulling here, Forward, you stretching the back. All right, let's do the other one. And listen, don't forget that this Saturday, we are doing the push-up challenge for the charity. This is not a regular push-up challenge. This is a 24 hours of push-up for the charity. So we're donating, we're gonna donate the money from doing push-ups to the big brothers and big sisters here in the Orange County, California. That's the whole goal. Okay, let's bring that heel, hip, stretch right here. Oh yeah. This is the same exercise when you go like this. You just need to push through the pants and sit tall. This is the same exercise that's just done in a different way. All right, out, here we go. We're gonna go across, switch the bend, Shoulders back down on the floor. See, I'm doing an active stretch right here. This one that didn't click is okay. Good. Let's hit that quad stretch. Bottom leg slightly bent. Push your hips forward. Yes. This pulling forward, and you're gonna feel that stretch. Awesome stretch. Kick it forward. Bring it again back behind you. You can hold it even longer, or you can do more active stretch. Good time. Who is with me today? Now guys, Instagram has a new feature. Now we can have up to three people working out with me. So if you're going to send me an invite, oh, to be in my live video. Okay. Oh, somebody, hold on. Now I don't see it anymore, but you can send the invite again and I can add you onto the video. Of course, only with the purpose of working out. No other reasons here, not selling anything. We are working out. So let's do this. Dumbbells, bands, jump rope if you have, 
and we got a wall. So it's gonna be a funky exercise, funky workout. Good morning, good morning. I see you guys, very nice. Crazy hair there. So we're gonna start nice, nice and easy with the band, shoulders, back, chest is out. I have a very light band. My shoulders are on fire. I gotta loosen them up. So we're just standing row. That's it. We're not gonna target the chest today. We're not gonna be doing no bench presses, no chest presses, nothing. We're gonna work a nice back, legs, a little shoulders and bicep. Yes, tricep. Good, shoulders back, chest is out. You're just pumping those arms. This is the first round. We gotta just stay loose. You don't need to go in a heavy band. You can just stay with the light band. Some of you have a monster band. You can tie it at the pole, or you would do bend over row with the bench. That's another way. Bend over this way, rolling it. Drop the dumbbells. And we're gonna go with the bend over row right now. So, shoulders, back, chest is out, and you're gonna just pump those arms here, squeezing the back. Now, obviously, the shoulders still working here, but in a little bit different way as you would work doing the chest press. So both dumbbells, as you see the same motion as we were doing in standing, 45 degree angle, squeezing and concentrating on your back. Glutes should be engaged, knees should be slightly bent. You should not be going in a weird position with those dumbbells because the gravity is going straight down. So that's what we are doing right here. Breathe out, inhale and exhale. Good, time. Now body weight squat first, just to get the legs going a little bit, but then we're gonna grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell, whatever you have. So getting the pump, the blood flow, how are we squatting? We're pushing our hips back behind, right? So look, 90 degree angle. I'm staying with my knees over my ankles. So this is a very important thing. Maybe put the chair behind you and train this one. Because over the course of the years, most people cannot squat properly. They squatting this way. They going like this. Chest is out. Beginning of the movement and end. Inhale, and then it's an exhale, right? So you wanna work on those hamstrings. You wanna work on these glutes, on your quads. Six to 10 degree angle. You shouldn't be pointing your knees out like this, no. Just like the shoulder width apart. And then again, some people, tall people, it depends on the position of their hip. Maybe they have to go a little wider. Maybe a little bit closer. Keep on going, guys. Pump those squats. Pump those squats a little bit more. Okay? How are we doing? All right, and time. Now get your dumbbells going. Get your dumbbells right now. What are we going to do? We're gonna do a bicep curl and reverse lunge, ready? So we're gonna step back one count and then pump that bicep curl. So look, as I'm stepping back, I am doing a bicep curl. So alternating reverse lunge, 90 degree angle involved. And as you see, I'm rotating those dumbbells. I'm gonna show you again. Rotating the dumbbells. This is very important to not shift the weight because a lot of you think that if you go into a reverse lunge, then the whole weight has to be shift and you can't even step back. No, the weight stays in front of that leg, above that leg. You're just stepping back and bending the knee. That's it, that's it. So train this, learn this, and just keep on pumping. So when you're stepping back, that foot lands on the ball of the foot. Now on the heel, heel should be off the ground. So again, I'm not transferring the weight. Look, I'm staying here. I'm just stepping back with that leg, that's it. Once you're gonna get this and practice this, it's all gonna be good for you, but you just need to practice this one, okay? Let's do this, pump few, few, take your time. Just one count here. 
There you go. We're gonna be switching these and playing around with these as we go. And you're gonna see me switching and changing. Okay? Good work. We're gonna go for a lot of repetitions. Not that heavy today. Tomorrow is the push-up challenge. My shoulders have to be good. And your shoulders have to be good as well. One more. Good. All right, listen. If you don't have a jump rope, you're gonna pump either jumping jacks or you're going squat thrust to jump. I want you to expose, so you're gonna choose a level. I'm gonna grab the jump rope and get the jump rope going. So choose the one that you want and just go with it. And sorry about that noise, it's gonna come away. You guys are doing good work right now. All right, let's slide on your feet. You see, I am not going great to my shoulders, even though the front of the shoulder, the anterior side, totally gonna work because I'm spinning here. Yes, so it's gonna work, but it almost feels like a good warm up. So, slide on your feet. Jump ropes are great. Listen, they're gonna raise your heart rate. We're not gonna count now, but we will eventually keep me uncomfortable to this. Let's do this, huh? So kids and pump. Good work. Hey, yeah. Everybody are working. Nice, huh? See you already. Feel the whole thing. Feeling great. Quick little stretch for those calves. Active stretching, lay down on the floor, and we're gonna do ladder kicks. Let's do this, lower back press against the floor. Shoulders off the floor, you're gonna pop those legs extended. Now, the key in the flutter kicks, any kind of lower activity here, is to keep that lower back pressed against the floor. Now, if you are like this, you lower your leg down. Watch what's happening to your, to your lower back. It wants to arch, right? So you gotta flatten, your stomach, press, tilt that pelvis so you have flat against that floor. Now raising your head is gonna increase the intensity but also gonna help you to counterbalance those legs. Some people will hold something here, right? Or they, what do they do? They raise, put their hands underneath their butt but that's not how you're supposed to do it. You wanna use your own body weight to do this, okay? So pop those legs straight. Whatever you wanna do with your head, it's up to you. And time, good job. Now get up there. Now we're gonna do alternating bent tempo. Ready? Let's do this. Shoulders back, chest is out, knees are bent and you're gonna pump those arms. Now, I grabbed the yellow one, which is heavier already, but you can get any other one, whatever you have at home. Just pump those arms, alternate your arms, abs are tight, knees are bent, we are going. And we have a lot to get to today. Squeeze it. And time. Take it, grab your dumbbells. Now we're gonna pump your arms the same way. Ready? Let's do this. Leaning forward, bend over, and the same way. You can even bring your legs a little bit closer if this is better. So you have exactly smooth transition with the dumbbells. Squeeze your back, guys. There should be no rounding your back. There should be no position like this. Check your posture right here. That's how you wanna feel, all right? You will feel this in your lower back because obviously it's working. Abs are working. Dumbbells straight up and down. Feel in the back of your arm. Heart rate is up. And time, stand up straight. Now, you can have your kettlebell, dumbbell, whatever you want, right in here. 
Hold it like this. Goblet. You can grab your kettlebell the same way, the same way, just squatting up and down. I like to always gradually pump and raise the intensity by bringing more of the weight. You know yourself. You know where you are, what you can do right now. And remember, don't be afraid to put in the comments what is the biggest struggle, what you've been struggling with for the past 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Write down in those Instagram comments because they going to go after. So I want to make sure now Facebook is going to stay. And listen, don't be afraid to share this. People put so much stuff in the public. Plus, being more vulnerable and open is going to help you to actually battle what you have to deal with and face. Because if you're hiding, you will never be able to cross this. Right? So, let's do it once and for all. Let's cut this. And let's start better. Time. All right, I'm getting those dumbbells. Now we're gonna go into right arm, right arm, pay attention. Right arm, left leg. So look, a bicep, but look, the other arm is hanging down with that dumbbell. Ready? Right arm, left leg, that's it. Don't switch on me, just stay with me right here. The other one is holding that dumbbell. Again, you want to be on the screen with me on Instagram? Check eva.eckert1. Right now, I am live here. I'm live on Peak Physique NY, and you can join me as well. Guys, there's nothing better than really hiring a coach, having a coach, having someone to coach you and lead you. That's even a coach needs a coach. You know, we learn from another, one another. And by doing so, you're gonna be more accountable. You're gonna learn, you're gonna have a program, you're gonna have a process. Because in all these goals that you have and whatever you wanna achieve, if you do not have the process down, if you do not have the steps down, if you do not have organized thought, not going extra mile, it's gonna be very difficult for you to achieve that. Plus, we don't wanna achieve and go back to what we've done before to your old bad habits, right? So make sure, sending me a message, listen, whatever we do here, it's just a workout. The mindset, it's a separate thing that should be connected to it. Time, get your jump rope. So how we do this? We have programs for you, the application has been created for peak performance coaching. And this is more than just a workout. Workouts I can do during sleep with you, literally. This is not a brain there. Let's do this. We're gonna count to 60 jumps. You guys are doing squat thrusts or jumping jacks till I tell you to stop. Ready, three, two, one, we're going. Light on the feet, I can switch to it quickly. The pattern, look, crisscrossing, right? You can do front and back. You can do single leg. You don't need to go crazy like me. You can just stick to the jump rope. Keep on going. We're gonna reach 60. Everybody, lay down on the floor. We're gonna pump the scissors gig. You know the scissors already? Do it. Do the scissors. The same idea, pinching that lower back against the floor. So, let me tell you about peak. Peak, we always, always, it was first was the mind. That's why people got such an extreme result. That's why we changed thousands and thousands of people's lives because we started always with the mindset and the community 
and you get these awesome results. And that's when it all starts. It doesn't start from the exercise. Everything starts in your headquarters, right there. That's your main operational system. It's in your head. Crisscross toes, keep on going. Listen, you don't need to go wide. You don't have to, you can even stay up there with them. You don't need to go up and down like me. And time. This is just a little extra sip your water we're going forward. So the new system has the workouts, has the coaching. You don't want to miss on that. It's an absolutely amazing thing that we have developed and moved to the next level. So Peak is not the same as how it used to be. It's a totally different program. Let's do this. So now, we got to hold your arms here and do one at a time. Ready? Go. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now a lot of you are asking us, me, Steve, what are we drinking before the workout? There is a concoction that we have created over the years. It's a mix of Herbalife products and nowadays Trulene, yes, Trulene Nutrition that has came out with amazing products and it's okay to do two different. We are so faithful to Herbalife Company. We absolutely love it. We've been doing this, guys. Squeeze your shoulders. Shoulders back and down. For like 13, 14 years, the results are amazing. And if you know how to build your own concoction based on your needs, whatever you need, you gotta just message me and we're gonna put it together. And why? Guys, your muscles are breaking down right now. If you think that yogurt will do it, it's not going to do it. If you think that just basic shake will do it with some amino acids, it's not. The recovery is as important as your workout. So you gotta deliver to the working muscle so you can get the results. Because if you break your own muscle and you're not working on the recovery, how the muscle will build, right? That's why so many people do crazy, keep your shoulder blades together, pump one arm at a time. You know, the diet, they try to diet, not eat, and the skin gets looser. They work harder, but the skin is loose. Then they switch to something else, and it's the same, and they can never figure it out. We've done this, we figure it out. There is a magic concoction. As you're gonna work, your way here with the workouts and you're gonna be drinking. It's gonna help, it's gonna change. It's gonna change your body. And you're gonna see amazing results. So, text me and we're gonna put it together. Time. Look, as we progress, you're gonna be getting tired. That's normal, but we're not putting immediately. We're just adjusting and changing. Let's do that squat. So we're going heavier. Pump it, let's do this, down and up. Who's gonna join me today for the workout? Cause I'm waiting still for somebody to send me an invite on Instagram so I can add you guys to the screen. It's pretty cool. Three people, but you need to go to my private. And actually no, Peak Physique, it showed too. Three people I can add. So I see a bunch of you guys watching right now. So many of you have double phones, you're watching from the tablet. Just go in there, send a message. You can watch for one and do the other one with me. It will be fun. Let's do this. Three people allowed in one group. Breathe out. Remember when I told you how I told you to do this squat, right? Yes, we are pumping. Breathing, now holding the breath. You gotta inhale and smoothly exhale. You don't need to talk. Don't talk throughout the exercise, please. I am talking. You are doing the work with me. Got it? Time. Good job. Raise the 
intensity by adding a little heavier dumbbells. All right, now we're gonna go what we did before, but different arm. So now we are on the left arm and the right leg. Ready? Let's do this. So look, one count. Rotation of the dumbbell, stepping back with your right leg. I'm gonna go sideways for you. Let's do this. Remember what I told you about shifting that weight. Don't shift the weight. All right, that back leg should be smoothly removed off the floor if I'm gonna ask you for. The front leg is carrying that weight. 90 degree angle is a must. I'm gonna show you the opposite way. Look, the other way, you can see me, boom. One count. One count meaning the bicep and the leg folds at the same time, boom. The other leg is holding the dumbbell. We are working, right? Keep on going. We're gonna do a lot of reps. That's gonna be a lot of lunges here today. But we stepping back towards the back, towards the back, not forward. Don't make the mistake. Sometimes it's funny. In a gym and back in the day, I would say reverse lunge and people would go forward. Your brain understood this in a different way. Sometimes it happens, right? That mind and body coordination. Breathe. I hope you are warm as I am right now. I am hot time. All right, let's get the jump rope. Let's get that jump rope going or a squat rope going or jacks going. You are going. The next round, I'm gonna show you different exercise for this. All right, we're hitting, hitting 80. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Here. 
Go, go, go. Now listen, do me a favor and have someone in this post. Share this video, please. A lot of people need workouts daily. They need mindset. They will be able to connect with us. Stay on the application. Then it's a mind tra mindset training, not only your body. Let's do this. Breathe out. Keep on going. Block, phone, and somehow the call is still going through. Let's go. Pop those biceps. Go, go, go. Few more. Elbows are high. Okay, elbows are high. Time. Now we're gonna do the same with the dumbbells. Standing, grab your dumbbells right here. So both dumbbells at the same time. These are bent, shoulders are back. Let's do this. Come on, I'm just gonna walk. I wanna make sure you guys don't have any questions. Pump that bicep. I see you guys, good job. Joey, I see even Jasmine is here. Nice, Ken. Yes, go, go, go. We are going. Shoulders back, chest is out. So guys, three sessions every single day. Now, when you're gonna make some work, it's with the mindset training. So send me a message. Let's get you going on the application and the coaching, peak performance coaching, combining the mind and body. Breathe out, breathe out. Shoulders are back. Look, don't swing the weights. Don't go with the rhythm of your body. We do not swing the weights. Shoulders are back. Chest is out right here. Feel that bicep working, yes. After the bends, oh yeah, you should be feeling it, right? Nice. Time. Keep on going. I'm slowly undressing myself. Yes. Floor. Bridge. Get that dumbbell going. We're going to have one dumbbell right here for both hands. Let's do this. We're going to keep our knees bent and pump just like this. Remember, it's a little faster, more repetitions. Elbows are going to 90 degrees, so do not do this coming into your chin. A lot of mistakes happen here. You want to keep 90 degree angle where the elbows are leading the motion to the way down, hence leading towards the way up. So push our hands, pull going down. Resistance is the elbows. Abs are tight. See one dumbbell here. That's it. One dumbbell. Now let's do it together. Pump it. Lift the glutes. Lift the glutes. Squeeze your glutes. Oh yeah. There I get those shoulders. Nice pump right here. After holding that parallel, the dumbbell before on that squat. Time. Put the dumbbell down. We're going right into that reverse lunge. We're going to switch a little bit. Yes, we're going to switch a little bit because we're not going to be doing bicep right now. We're going to go into overhead presses. So get the dumbbells going right now. Whatever you want to work with. The 15, the 20, whatever that is. So look. Both dumbbells, like we did with both bicep curls, you're gonna step back with the reverse lunge on a on one count, ready? This might require practice. You might want it to do it even with body weight right now. So what I want you to do, right from the shoulders, bam, step back. First learn this, 90 degrees. It has to be one count, one count, not separation. You want to work on that core and back at the same time. So you might want to extend your arms right here. Remember, 90 degree angle. If you have one dumbbell, 
You can just work with one dumbbell here too, okay? Let's do this. Go. I wanna see you going. I'm saving my shoulders as well today. I'm still working. Now, what's very important here? Now we're bringing object overhead. So pay attention to your lower back. You do not want it to arch like this because it's gonna hurt your lower back. So you better engage your core here, straight from these shoulders. Boom, take your time. Don't rush it or do it with one dumbbell. It's still okay. Train, don't stop. I show you all these different variations right now. You should pick one that is good for you. Adjust to your limitations, whatever you have but always work, do not stop, right? So both dumbbells, stepping back, 90 degrees, time, good work. We ready for that jump rope or that lateral, lateral jump, right? Pick your own and let's go. Pump it. 90. Let's do this. Pick your pattern, whatever you want to do. Actually, that will be pumping, not off will be up. 
that one will be less one. So we're gonna pump right here, alternating, getting this bicep nice and pump and puffy, right? So knees are bent, shoulders are back, and you're just gonna pump it. The same way you can do this with the monster bend, you can have the shoulder bend with the handles pumping your shoulders as well. Oh yeah. And time. Get those dumbbells going now. We're gonna do the same thing. Motion repeated for standing. Ready? Ready? Let's do this. One is up, one is down. And pump. There you go, like this. So different tempo, right? Different tempo, yes. Go, go, go. Don't hold the breath on me. You guys doing a fantastic job. I hope you are doing a fantastic job. But this is not just watching and scrolling Facebook, wasting your time on, on, on things, looking for who knows what. Concentrate on the most important things that you have in your agenda, daily agenda. And then just execute on them. Time. I have a structure here. Lay down on the floor. You're gonna be doing this bridge. We're just gonna put that dumbbell on your legs. We're not gonna be pumping with your arms right now. So get a heavier one. Keep on top of your quads. Bend your knees and we are going. Ready? Go, 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 go. Squeeze it. Your glutes should not be resting on the floor. We're gonna tap them, hover above them. Yes, hover above them. And come right back up without resting. At the push, it should be full engagement of anterior and posterior side, both front and back. Yes, on my quads, right there. I feel it. It's coming. The hamstrings are working. The glutes, lower back, abs, core. Nice work. But now, look, this is just one hour of your day, right? What's gonna happen in the next, next hour? The hour after that, the following hour, time. That's the hardest for people. That's when the challenge comes. That's when you have to eat healthy and often, right? But most of you will be starting because you're gonna have a hectic day and you're not gonna be eating. And that's when you kill yourself, right here. Listen up. One dumbbell will be up, one dumbbell is down. So we're gonna do the same thing like we did with the bicep. Ready? I'm gonna press and step back. So right arm, left leg, you ready? One count, go. Boom. That's it. You got it. Yes. As you see, everything is organized. It's not random, it's not sporadic, it's not all over the place. Organized for in the workouts and in the coaching, guys. Yes, that's how we roll. Yes, that's how you gotta get extreme results of your mind and your body. So join us, join us. A revolution in training and in wine was never created like this. Done. Time. Put it down. Let's go into. Jump ropes. And you know what to do, lateral jump squat or jump rope. We're going, I'm going, and I will tell you when to stop. I'm counting my own. Oh, if you're doing a jump rope, I want 100. Ready? Three, two, one, pump it.
cold salts, scissors. In Polish, not Russian, no zhitschki. Say to yourself, you're gonna do a tongue twister. Come on. No, tongue twisters are in English. This one will be sure, sure. Oh, hell. Crazy stuff here. Go, go, go. Remember what I told you about down. You're gonna be lost in a water drinking process. Drink the big bottles. It's so easy. You're gonna say three of those a day. I'm good. Get the Herbalife bottle from our site. I'm gonna put it right here for you guys. Get the bottle from our site. I'm telling you this right now. It's an amazing, amazing product. Let me just pull it up for you. Where is my Herbalife? Right here. And for those of you who do not know this, I can send you, just send me a direct message. Awesome bottle. I drink three of those a day. On a hike days, on 15 mile hikes, we're drinking double. All right, we're going forward. So now we're gonna hold the bands and we're gonna do one at a time. Just because you guys are pros, you learned so much today. You pump that bicep, it looks like a pillow. Let somebody sleep on it. Go, breathe out. Squeeze it. Hands are up towards the ears. Don't forget the Russian and the Freak coming up today. 2.15 p.m., you don't wanna miss the show. It's our family sharing the stories how to stay challenged. Now, 24 hour push up challenge coming tomorrow for the charity. You're gonna find out why we do this, why we do what we do, and why you should join us. 24 hours, meaning there is no sleep, there is push up. So instead of sleep, you know, we're gonna push up. We did this in the past when we had 24 hour workout organized for the Autism Awareness Month, and we did. 24 hours on stop training. Time, get those dumbbells going. Listen, I bobble, I bobble, I talk, you work. Cause I'm gonna go for a run after too. But you gotta check this out. Ready? Let's go. One arm at a time. The other one will stay up. Let's go. But you see, knee, elbows are pointing down. Deep breath in and exhale. Knees are bent, shoulders are back, chest is out. Those positions, you have to be checked. Each time you do, you, you, you start anything, your position has to be in check. This is like an automation for me. Bam, bam, bam. That's why I'm saying this to you. I want you to hear my voice in your head when you're gonna be working out next time. Check the position, shoulders back, chest is out. Knees are slightly bent. Engage your core. Oh yeah. We feeling good or what? Should be feeling awesome. It's getting there, right? Yes. Ah, one more, squeeze it. Good job. Get that heavy dumbbell going for your glutes. Oh yes. For your glutes. We are going, pump it, pump it, go, 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 go. Squeeze it. So join us for the Push Up Challenge Charity. We're gonna be going live on Facebook, Instagram. We're gonna give you an update from the 24 hours. You'll be able to sign up then with us check the new program, check it out, it's amazing. And do the push up and donate to charity. At the same time, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Orange County, California. Concentrate, concentrate on that squeeze. The uncomfortable, stay in the uncomfortable zone. Change is coming. Oh yeah, time. 
get rid of that dumbbell. Let's get your other dumbbells. Now you know what's coming, right? You should know this now. Left arm, right leg, one count motion. Boom, go, drop it. Just get the balance going. Again, breathe out. 90. Oh yeah, at the same time, don't separate those. Grab a lighter dumbbell maybe. You can have a heavier one with the other arm and lighter when you're pressing overhead. Got it? Yes. Again, you guys are going. I'm showing all these different ways. Sometimes I lose a balance. It's okay. You regroup. You start all over. Then, nice, not done. One more time. We gotta check the time. Is this the time, 905? Are we serious? We gotta finish off right here. Guys, last jump rope, that's it. Now, what your homework can be, you can go through all of them just one time. All of it. That's it. One more time, straight through, a little faster. Go, jump rope, finish off, and we are done. Go. You heard me bubbling through the whole time. Jump squat over there. You know what to do. Tap someone in the pose. Share the video. Join us for the push-up challenge. Donate to the charity, right? What else you need to do? Join us for the Russian and the Greek show because it will change your family life. I promise you this, join us. You are not alone. Everybody has a freak in them at some point and some way. So embrace it, dive into diversity, and let's do it. The Russian and the Greek at 2.15 Pacific today on different social media platform and the push-up challenge tomorrow. So important from the noon time. Guys, amazing job. Repeat, stretch, peak freaks. High five. You know what I'm doing. I always do this, this, but then we do fist, Jovic, say it, learn it. Yes. Awesome job. Congratulations, clap, it will release. Clap it, look, this feels so good. I always tell you, clap now. Feels so awesome, you're gonna get that vibrancy going in your body, in your mind. I will talk to you guys later. You are awesome, have an amazing day. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye, 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 everybody. Bye on the social media platforms, bye.